Well, hello, welcome back to the SBD5 Dauntless build, where we're gonna be working on the seatbelt photo etching. So let's head on over to the bench and take a look. Hello, hello. Um, uh, I've gotten these guys all painted up, put together. Gun turrets looking good. So we're starting to do the seatbelts. I did the seatbelts in the uh, on the pilot's cop uh, chair, <clears throat> and uh, actually glued the chair in too. But it's a it's a photo etch piece. It comes with the with the with the kit. It gives you two belts plus four little straps that you got to glue on. And I gotta I'll show you what I'm doing here. I got the four little straps already cut out. They're so small. They're right over here. Um, and then I have a, a piece of tape, the two belts. But I'll show you if I can get the camera to kind of. And I'll, I'll take pictures of it too and have that up. But there's the seat belt on there, and it, it adds a great detail to the kit. So, and then we'll get to gluing uh, all the little parts on. Um, this one I gotta add the decals on. But I can at least get some of these parts that go on the walls in here up. And then we'll decal that display and displays on the uh, pilot's control panel. Um, but yeah, let's get to work on this getting these four little straps. There's two going each belt onto the belt here. And I'm just leaving it a normal, I was gonna paint these, and I'm just leaving them normal. It's like a silverish, aluminish kind of color. Um, photo etch, and I'm just gonna leave it that color. That way the belt buckles have that metal look to them. And then the straps can look like they're that uh, gray strap, you know. I don't know if that came into what was actually in the planes. I see a lot of people doing a tan. And I don't know if I want to sit there and try to hand brush those buckles. It's just not going to come out right. To me. I don't think so. And since they did it with silver, I think it, it works really good. It gives it that gray belt look. Yeah, the... Uh, the buckles still will shine, so I'm gonna leave them. It's that simple. And once this chair fully dries, it's still probably a little loose. I'll pull pull these straps that come down on the sides here out a little more, see. So they'll able be able to be seen. But you don't want them out too much because I'm sure they were strapped to the chair or below the chair. Kind of like a car. Just like a car. Seat belts, you know. The old school ones that you clipped. Not the shoulder harness ones that we use now in vehicles. So, but I can adjust them how I want once it gets. Once I see him. Oh! I masked off the canopy. I think I have pictures of that. This is the uh, front part of the plane. Um, which will be right here about. And I just wanted to get some green under there just in case. You see in there I don't think you will but just in case and then this little little part here will actually there we go this little part here oh, and it flipped upside down again there we go. and this little part here will get will be the interior and the rest will be the navy blue but I just wanted to do that just in case. I don't need that tape no more. But I did the interior color. And then we'll do the exterior color over top of that. And then hopefully we'll see that green through. 
So I'm wondering if I should cure, hit it with a, a clear to seal it. Probably should. Just a light coat. But that's where we are now. But first, we got to get these things glued up. And I'm using, you know, super glue. So what we're doing is I'm using these good self-holding tweezers and picking up you can actually the damp the little bit of dampness in your fingers you can pick up these little straps and I'm just grabbing that and finding the right spot and I'm putting a little bit of super glue on a toothpick you can even spill I get too much but it, it settles and you can't really see it so This used to be thin CA glue, but I've had it for so long, and the top probably not really sealing well. It's now made it a basically a medium, really. So let's see. I have to bring my light down. Try to get as little glue, but enough that it'll glue on there on this oh I got these facing the way I should because I'm a righty I gotta make sure I don't bump and lose those other little straps still blurry and they just lay on there Alright, sorry about that. It's uh, my birthday today, and uh, so family and friends are calling in to wish me happy birthday. And it's a weekday, so I'm not doing anything for my birthday. I took the day off, but, uh, you know, I'll save the weekend, you know, to do stuff. It stinks having a birthday on a weekday because you really can't do much because you got to go to work tomorrow, so... We'll get back to gluing those buckles onto the uh, straps here. These tiny, tiny little buckles. They're so small, the camera can't even zoom in on it. Uh, let's bring my light down. It's probably almost too bright for the camera. Shining off the cutting board. These things are so small. I love this light with the magnifying glass on it. Get a little glue on here like we did on the first one. There we go. Let's see if we can get this one placed correctly. next one without dropping one because I've dropped these twice already one flew off my tweezers and the other one when I was on the phone I bumped it I had it here and my sleeve caught it or something but I did find it in Miracle but I did find it that one right away didn't I? Not good. So small I can't even see not good but I don't want to get glue everywhere. Let's see if I can pick it up.
come on. It's so small, even the little imperfections in the... Stand up, maybe I can get it now. Stuck itself to the tape. doing it again. Why are you being a pain in the butt? It's got a little glue on the hair. It's not trying to stick to that. Okay. Now I think the glue dried. Well, maybe not. It seems to be holding on there. Alright. And it, like the only way you can pick these little straps up is by actually the moisture, the oils in your fingers. actually stick to that. There we go. And since this is the last time I'm going to be using this tape for this, I'll give it a shot of kicker. And we're set. Now the fun part is getting it to pen. It wasn't too bad on this one because I could do it with the seat out and had plenty of room. This one's gonna be fun. I might have to try to do some type of pre-bending. Let's get a lid on the super glue so it doesn't dry up on me. And how do I want to pre-bend this? The other one I could bend right around it. This one's gonna be a little more difficult to do that. so small they're hard to get off the tape because I don't want to pull on them too much because then they'll bend them how I don't want them to be bent. Right. And they really should come from the side but there's no way with these rails here, these bars here to hold the seat. To do that, so I'm going to have to kind of bring them around like that. 
to do this. And how do you do that? And the same time. Hmm. <clears throat> and I know I'm going to need pliers because they're just way. Toothpick. And I got a pre bend start. There it goes. Oh, that worked actually not too bad. Super glue left on here. because then it'll activate the other side too. Like it leaves a residue. But that worked. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies have just been horrible. Alright. Alright, see if we can get this other one up and out. You can get the <coughs> knife underneath it and kind of slide it to at least loosen up the glue from the tape. Seems like it worked when I did a little pre bend like this. I don't really want to do it there. I want to do it right at that buckle. There we go. <clears throat> Same thing. Hold that and press it to the contour of the seat. It looks like I lost. I did. Oh, it's one of those little straps. Where I don't know where it went. It should be, should be, semi-bent. But I don't know what stage I lost it. Not on the f second one, on the first one. It's not a big deal. It could look like that one's broke. Well, let's glue this other one down first. Yeah, but that little buckle there is missing.
intriguing. If I can get a little accelerator on that. Yeah, I have no idea. It's going to be extremely hard to find, especially when I don't know when it went MIA. Probably during the bend. Probably popped off. Super glue probably wasn't set or not enough on it. That's what I'm thinking. I got the lucky to find them twice. I don't think I'm going to find them for a third time. Especially when you don't know where you it went. Like, and I didn't go very far with it. I only was working right here, but it's like I said, they're so tiny. I'll try lifting this up. Let's see if I can see anything shiny. I'm not. But it could be laying just right. Now you can't see it. Fall. You know, could even do that. Fall into this tape. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna, you know, sweat it. It could be stuck to my shirt because if it has a little bit of super glue. But mm, that's just weird. How it was a was on there. No it's not. Mm. And those. <clears throat> well, that might have been a second one. I'm not sure what buckled. I, glued the straps on first. The one time I actually found it on the floor when it caught onto my sleeve. <clears throat> Which I can't. <clears throat> and the other one I found up here, the one that flipped off my tweezers. They've been very stubborn to lose themselves. And they might have fell into the black hole, which is your tool bench, or your workbench. <clears throat> and the funny thing is, I'll probably find it, like, stuck to something. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll probably be working on something here, and all of a sudden, hey, there it is. <clears throat> and it'll be too late. Well, I'll take just one game to see if it fell on the floor. I don't know why I would really do that. Because I never carried it over under the floor. I'm sure it's not on my legs. So that's a place it likes to fall onto. And they're so, 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 so small. But I don't think I'm going to worry about it. You're not really going to see them anywhere. And it could be looking like a broken strap belt that needs a new little. They're like a, a wide belt and then they have two strap things. And yeah, that one's gone. 